Welcome back to the shrine. Today uh, we're gonna look into this. Not even sure what this is a karaoke machine, a singing machine, SML 383P. Uh, my daughter is past her pink age, so this has to go. And I don't want to toss it. I want to give it to someone uh, who uh, still has a daughter, maybe you know, son them uh, who can use that uh, but uh, I've heard that it's not working and uh, I think the machine itself is good uh, but there might be an issue with the microphone so here's the microphone uh, it's got an on off button on it and I'm gonna go and plug it in um, give it some power I mean, look at all these cables. You know, this thing was made in probably early 2010. Um, still has tons of cables. I guess that's how it's cheap to make it. So, on off. As you can see, it's got a CD. You can put a CD in. It's got disco lights. And I have no idea how it works. I never used it, cheated. it. Test one, two, three, nothing. Oh, maybe it's off. Let's turn it on. Test, test, test. So it's not working. Let's see the other socket. Test, 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 nothing. So uh, let's see first if, if the mic checks out. We're gonna use the meter and just come in here and just do a continuity test. So you can see that the mic is good. Well, sorry, it's not good. It shows my own resistance because I'm touching both of the leads. <laughs> um, so the, the mic shows zero mega ohm resistance and it's on. The same resistance when it's off. So we're gonna go inside and see what's wrong with the mic. Oops, that was easy. This thread is not long for its life, so that just uh, twists off and then this collar comes off. And then looks like we have a strain relief here, which is really hard. And then the cable is free to move in the strain relief. And there are two little tabs here. So there's one here, one on that side. So let's try to pry those out. There you go. So this is the condenser microphone. That's how they make them these days. Um, there's some foam insulation inside and this seems to be a one-piece deal no idea at this point how it comes apart I'm suspecting there are some bolts and nuts underneath this label here Let's do a continuity test on the uh, plug to the microphone. So I'm just gonna remove this tape. Of course, that's how it comes off. So I'm measuring continuity. I'm gonna turn this on and measuring between these two pins. You can see it's 2.2 ohms. So right now I'm not touching the probe, that's not my resistance, it's the cable resistance. So the ground, this is the ground, has continuity to the black wire here. And then this is the other pin. And it doesn't have continuity. 
to this red wire. So something internally is broken. I need to fish out this plug first. Ah, look at that. I moved it a little bit and that terminal just broke off. The red terminal just broke off. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna unsolder the other one. Actually, it it broke off just like that. So there was no strain relief here. It looks like this is a small PCB. You can see that's a small PCB and the traces from the PCB broke right off. So the red one is marked with a red pen. I hope I will be able to uh, solder it back on. Still this, uh, this piece here, this plastic piece drives me crazy. I don't know how to remove that. So let's take this sticker off see what's underneath and hopefully take it off in one piece there you go so two bolts holding the switch I think I gotta take them out because otherwise it will not slide out I bet you this is concrete. The drill doesn't cut it. I think it is concrete just to add some weight to the mic. I bet you that's a piece of concrete. Here's a grass drill. It seems to be cutting it. After half an hour close fight, I gotta tell you it's not worth repairing. So in order to add weight to the microphone, you know, make it more realistic, more like it's made out of aluminum or steel or whatever the heck they make the microphone, microphones out of, um, it, is, it, it has this concrete core. These are some of the large pieces. You can see it's got aggregate in it and uh, cement and uh, I had to use a glass drill to drill that out so that's why I'm saying it's probably not worth fixing if you have one just toss it but anyways I am through you can see I got most of it out and then in the process I managed to break the wires which I know that the wires weren't good to begin with uh, so this is the little switch inside and you can see it's got some kind of insulating tape on it for protection from the concrete so now I will be able to uh, solder that back in so that's how it was soldered and then this is the rest of the wire so there's one solder point here so this is the central wire that comes out from the cable the cable is probably shielded so they use the shielding as a second um, wire and you can see that central wire is soldered to this red wire the red wire is soldered to the center terminal of the switch and then the black wire goes out to the microphone so I need to clean up here and then I can proceed to put it back together. Well, first of all, I need to strip the end of the wire, but uh, this is the end of the wire that comes right out of the microphone and you can see there is some lighter black color on it and this tells me that it's been bending here a lot. So what I want to do is just cut off a four inch section and start over from fresh wire that hopefully will not have any 
strain issues so that's what I'm gonna do and then strip the outer jacket but before I do so I'm gonna put the handle on So as you can see this is a coaxial cable. It's got this shield that is one of the wires and then in the center they have another wire. So this is done for shielding because it's an audio signal. You don't want to hear the neighbor's radio in your audio signal. Before I toss this thing, let's do a check. So this is the shielding wire. You can see it's got 1.2 ohms resistance. And this is the center wire. And it's dead. So the center wire is dead which basically tells me that we might have a rip right here at the uh, plug so you can see clearly that there is no continuity in the cable I am wiggling the cable and bending it you know this was used by kids um, so uh, there, there's not much cable. This seems to be 26 gauge. That center piece looks to be 26 gauge. So if someone tugs on it or pulls on it, um, it is gonna go. So what I'm gonna do is cut half of the cable off and see if we have continuity. So nothing, not a two foot is cut, there is no continuity. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut it right there. I think, you know, plugging this in and out one too many times will screw up this, uh, this plug. So this is the last piece of the cable, probably uh, two feet long. You can see the cable is nice and conducting. So the problem most likely was in the plug. The handle is moving separately from the connectors. Well, the repair, the repair, in air quotes, is uh, done. I just soldered a, you know, remaining piece of wire directly to the mic without the switch, and now we can do a resistance check. Comes out at 588, 89 ohms. So, if you're repairing something like this, that's a good starting number, you know, 590 ohms, 600 ohms. That's what you are looking for, for this uh, microphone. So we can do a test now. So let's do mic one. Turn it on. Microphone check, check, check. Nothing. Check, check, check. Nothing. Let's see, AVC on. AVC off. Volume master is at maximum balance. Echo, echo, echo. Let's try the other socket. Check, 
check, check, check. Check, check, check. Okay, I see the problem. So the problem was that this plug um, doesn't, this, the problem was that this handle does not allow the plug, shut up. So the problem was that this handle does not allow the plug to go in fully and I completely pushed it in and that probably shorted out the two uh, terminals but right now the mic seems to be working so the unit is good let's see microphone one let's see microphone one let's do a little bit less echo one two two mic check one two three okay so the unit works you can find it on marketplace if you want to buy it <laughs> but it will probably sell before this video will surface what we learned today kids if you have a microphone like this and you pop it open and there's some concrete in it just toss it don't try to fix it and uh, we also learned that troubleshooting the uh, cable is uh, really hard unless you cut the cable you're not gonna be able to find where the actual uh, break in the cable is so that's what we learned I just can't stop playing with this thing Well, if you watched it this far and didn't get asleep from my soothing voice, I hope to see you on the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thank you. Bye.